something that you might like to see. I've got John O'Reilly and he's hanging from a tree. Now it's time for you to swing right by his side. For today is the day you're gonna die. We ran the, the festival basically we're fans of James Connolly. Uh, James Connolly of of all the 1916 people who are executed, James Connolly is probably the most unusual. Of course, po poet Sarah Clancy from Galway, an up-and-coming uh, poet who was doing very well internationally, recognised with loads of awards. Truth is in the fibres, where our DNA is deciphered, truth is in the learning. More even, the forgetting truth is true, and there's no true thing that doesn't end, nor even any lie that lasts. Truth is bloated with its own importance, when the truth is, it doesn't matter, because every single thing is true. We had Evelyn Campbell, who is, she's around a long time, but she is, has re-emerged re as the singer for the Right Water uh, protesters in Dublin around Ireland. She's appeared on most of the big platforms and is writing songs directly related to that struggle that's going on today. And the other one was Fieke Moriarty, who is an up upcoming young, young lad who has just produced a new album called Revolution, and so we told him very apt to include him, and, and his songs are apt to, uh, to revolutionary thoughts or thoughts outside of the system that we have today. Stephen Murphy from Leitrim, who is well known from his YouTube uh, poems, which is very unusual nowadays, YouTube poems, uh, one being Dear Enda, which, which was a, a massive hit. Dear Enda, as a righteous, there's a scandal going on outside my wall. Some fluorescent jacket vandals are attempting to install. A meter set to privatise another state resource, and I know you said to suck it up and let it run its course, but it's hard to just get on with things and pay another levy. With the taxes that you've laden us already weighing heavy on the shoulders of the people, you were elected to defend, but neglected at the first sign of your European friends. Um, it was, of course, all topped off with the lecture given on the Saturday by Sister Teresa Fakadis, a denoted, most radical nun in Europe who gave a, a, smashing, uh, a smashing talk to an audience which covered many things from the EU to uh, women's rights, homosexual rights, and so on, and proceeded to shock and delight the whole audience that were there. My capacity for work <coughs> is inseparable of my dignity, not because people who cannot work don't have dignity, but because your capacity, little or big, or even if you have none, but the one you have, it's bringing that to fulfillment or being able to implement that, this is what is inseparable of your dignity. And if we create and sustain among us a system that makes people commodify this capacity of work, we actually are making a system that commodifies the dignity of people. And this is what we should be princip in principle completely against. From there, they came and they performed and got standing ovations. The, the power, the passion, all socially related topics that their, their poetry consists of, um, it, it was unbelievable and it got great response. I know we're still fighting, but please don't. Sometimes you get crazy, yeah. You feel along with the thoughts in your head. Don't you know? <laughs> 